हेलो एवरी वन मई नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट टेस्ट फॉर ऑटो कॉरिलेशन वट डू यू मीन बाई ऑटो कॉरिलेशन इन रिग्रेशन मॉडल वी अज्यूम एर टर्म ऑफ डिफरेंट पीरियड आर नॉट रिलेटेड टू ईच अदर इन रिग्रेशन मॉडल वी अज्यूम एर टर्म ऑफ डिफरेंट पीरियड आर नॉट रिलेटेड टू ईच अदर बट If error term of different period are related to each other, or you can say that when there is relationship between error term of different period, it will be called auto correlation. But why auto correlation is problem? We do so many tests by assuming error term of different period are independent from each other. But if error term of different period are related to each other, obviously this is violation of independence assumption because of auto correlation. Auto correlation can lead to under estimate. estimation and overestimation of standard error that's why auto correlation is problem next thing if auto correlation is present that means your model is not able to fully capture relationship between data that's why auto correlation is problem first of all we will see graphical method to check auto correlation we can check auto correlation by plotting error term against time first is positive auto correlation on horizontal side we have time on vertical side we have error here you can see a from a to b shows upward trend from b to c shows downward trend again c to d shows upward trend and d to e shows a downward trend means there is upward and downward trends and upward and downward trend shows a positive auto correlation but why because upward and downward trend means data point are very close to each other and moving in same direction obviously if these point are moving in same direction that means error term of different period are related to each other eventually auto correlation is positive second is no auto correlation when point are randomly scattered with no systematic pattern that means there is no auto correlation in this diagram you can see point are randomly scattered with no systematic patterns that means there is no auto correlation next is von neumann ratio von neumann ratio test we use to detect auto correlation von neumann test represent by r or v formula to calculate von neumann test r equal to delta square over s square delta square equal to summation of whole square of ui minus ui minus 1 over n minus 1 s square equal to summation of whole square of ui minus u bar over n here n means number of observation ui means error term of i period ui minus 1 means error term of previous period if error term of i period is 2006 then uh, ui minus 1 is error term of 2005 because ui minus 1 means error term of previous period here we take one year uh, lag or you can say that here we take one year uh, gap and u bar means mean of error term uh, von neumann ratio range is between uh, 0 to 4 near 0 means strong positive auto correlation near 2 means no auto correlation near 4 means strong negative auto correlation now we will see runs test to detect auto correlation this is non parametric uh, test what do you mean by runs runs are uninterrupted sequence of symbol runs are uninterrupted sequence of a symbol here you can see we have uninterrupted sequence of a symbol here we have three runs first run consists of three minuses second run consists of four pluses again third run consists of three minuses too many runs means if we have so many runs it suggest negative serial correlation but why too many runs suggest negative serial correlation because it shows excessive alternation of positive and negative errors but to few runs if we have very few runs it suggest a positive series of correlation because it indicates lack of alternation in data both positive and negative series are part of auto correlation value of positive auto correlation is between 0 and 1 but value of negative uh, auto correlation is between minus 1 and 0 uh, now we'll see steps for a runs uh, test first of all sequence of data point convert into binary sequence that means convert your data into plus and minus sign then count runs for example here we have total number of five runs and the first runs represent two pluses 
सेकेंड रन कंसिस्ट थ्री माइनसिस थर्ड रन कंसिस्ट ओनली वन प्लस फोर्थ रन कंसिस्ट ओनली वन माइनस एंड फिफ्थ रन कंसिस्ट टू प्लस इज सो हेयर वी हैव टोटल फाइव रन नाउ काउंट साइन एन वन रिप्रेजेंट नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन विद पॉजिटिव साइन पॉजिटिव साइन मीन्स प्लस साइन एन टू मीन्स नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन विद नेगेटिव साइन मीन्स माइनस साइन एंड कैपिटल एन रिप्रेजेंट टोटल नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन दैट मीन्स कैपिटल एन इक्वल टू एन वन प्लस एन टू we can calculate expected number of run with this formula 2 n1 uh, n2 over capital n plus 1 we can calculate uh, variance of runs with this formula 2 n1 n2 2 n1 n2 minus capital n over uh, capital n square uh, capital n minus 1 and we apply this z test in our runs test here r is a actual number of run which we observed and this is expected number of run and over standard deviation of number of run now we will see durbin watson test to detect auto correlation first of all we will see assumption of durbin watson test model should include intercept term means without intercept term this test is not applicable explanatory variable are non stochastic that means independent variable should fixed error term are normally distributed as we know normal distribution is bell shaped and we assume error term should normally distributed error term follow first order auto regressive scheme that means error term at period 1 should correlated with error term of previous period here you can see this et is error term of current period and et minus 1 is error term of previous period and this rho sign represent first order auto correlation coefficient next assumptions are durbin watson test is not applicable where lagged value of dependent variable appear as a independent variable in this equation you can see yt is dependent variable yt minus 1 is lagged value of dependent variable here you can see lagged value of dependent variable appear as a one of independent variable that's why in such a case durbin watson test is not applicable next assumption no missing observation there should be no missing observation error terms are stationary that means statistical properties of error term like mean variance do not change over a time period now we will see how to use durbin watson test first of all set null and alternative hypothesis here you can see null hypothesis where rho is equal to 0 if rho is equal to 0 that means there is no auto correlation this is alternative hypothesis where rho is not equal to 0 if rho is not equal to 0 that means there is auto correlation now you will set level of significance mostly we set 5% level of significance now you will use this formula and this formula d represent durbin watson et is error term of t time period et minus 1 is error term of previous year if value of et is not given then you can find out value of et by using ols now you set a critical reason here we have n k and alpha n is number of observation k number of independent variable alpha is level of significance based on n k and alpha you will check durbin watson table and will find out dl and du dl means lower bound and du means upper bound now you minus dl from 4 and du from 4 but why we minus from 4 because durbin watson test range between 0 and 4 now please listen carefully if dl is more than d what do you mean by d d is a value which we will find out by using this formula if dl is more than d that means we will reject null hypothesis and there is positive auto correlation if d is more than 4 minus dl that means we again reject our null hypothesis but there is negative auto correlation if 4 minus dl is greater than d that means we will accept our null hypothesis but if d is greater than dl but less than du that means our test is insignificant now we are going to talk about broish godfrey test to detect auto correlation broish godfrey test is similar to durbin watson test but broish godfrey test is more flexible as compared to durbin watson test but why broish godfrey test is more flexible as compared to durbin watson test because 
ब्रोइश गोडफ्रे टेस्ट वी कैन यूज इन केस ऑफ फर्स्ट ऑर्डर सेकेंड ऑर्डर एंड हाई ऑर्डर ऑटो कॉरिलेशन बट दर्बिन वॉटसन टेस्ट वी कैन यूज ओनली इन केस ऑफ फर्स्ट ऑर्डर ऑटो कॉरिलेशन सेकेंड थिंग इन केस ऑफ दर्बिन वॉटसन टेस्ट मीन दर्बिन वॉटसन टेस्ट इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल वेन वैल्यू ऑफ लैग्ड डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल वर्क एज अ इनडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल बट we can use uh, broish godfrey test when lagged value of dependent variable appear as a independent variable and broish godfrey test uses uh, lagrange multiplier uh, based on auxiliary regression to test auto correlation this is formula of lm lm represent uh, lagrange multiplier here n is number of observation of auxiliary regression p is a maximum lag order being tested r square is coefficient of determination from auxiliary regression and the chi square p is a uh, chi square distribution with p degree of uh, freedom so this is all about test of autocorrelation i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care